What's up, people? <laughs> Welcome to the pre-show. It's Friday night. That's right. What's going on? How you doing? Long Island is here, I see. Yeah, Vegas. What's going on? D.C. Tampa, Florida. Houston. Everybody's here. Oh, my goodness. Welcome. California, ATL. More California. <laughs> ah, Michigan, hello. Uh, Ohio. Ohio is always representing. Mm-hmm. Jeselyn, you got to email them. They emailed you. They need your new address. <laughs> ah. Hit up Jesse. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Great show tonight. Great show. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play a clip of a new chem song tonight. Oh, yeah. Very excited. Okay. Yeah, I know California is in the deep heat. The <laughs> serious heat wave. It's crazy. Uh, good morning, Akiko in Tokyo. Hello, hello. Oklahoma is here tonight. Well, welcome. Nice. Yeah. We got Ramsey Lewis. Uh, Very excited about tonight. Playing lots of music. Uh, LaRonda has her hang t-shirt on. (laughs) Nice. Ah. All right. Mm. All right, I'm grooving. I'm excited because um, the current single from 20, a song called Keep Moving, hit number one this week. Very excited. I might have to play that later. We'll see how it goes. Uh, who else is here? What is going on? Gulf Coast. Okay. Wow. Good luck, Terry. Okay. Well, oof. Always something going on. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, people in Chicago, what's going on? The heat got turned back up a little bit here. Not too bad, not too bad. Mm. Did you get your hat? <laughs> we're, we're gonna, I think hats are starting to be shipped in about a week or so. So get your pre-order in. Save some money. It's always a good thing. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Elder. Marion. J. Thomas. <laughs> uh, Leslie, you're very kind. Uh, what are we drinking tonight? You know what? Tonight's a casual night. I'll tell you when we get started. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good. Waukegan, Illinois. What's going on, Jackie? How you doing? Uh, Rynell in California. Hello, hello. Uh, Andy Schweiger is in Napa, of course. We'll be drinking some more Schweiger wines uh, next month. Ah, yeah, little teaser there. Uh, Let's see, Bay, the Bay is is here. Welcome. Uh, Let's see, what else is going on? I'm gonna get ready, we're gonna go live. Well, we're live, but you know what I'm saying. We're gonna start the show in about one minute. One minute. Uh, Mimi has sparkling water. Hold the cherry vodka. (laughs) So you got some Pellegrino? That's what you're telling me? That's what you're telling me. All right. It's all good. Hey, you know, whatever makes you feel good. It's all that matters. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Steven Scott. Okay, we'll work on the larger shirt. I don't, I got to ask my guy. Can we go to 4X? I don't know. We'll find out. All right, we're going live in about 45 seconds. All right. All right, let me let me get my thing together. We'll see it. We'll see you over here. All right. Yes. Jess has Pinot Noir. I like it. I'm gonna hydrate real quick. I got a big glass of water. Mm. 
and then some. Okay, here we go. Hey, it's Brian Culbertson. We're live, and it's Friday night. Whoa! What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the show. What? Oh yeah, I got my drink on. <laughs> Are you with me? What? It's Friday night. Sing it. <laughs> it's Friday night. I see you kids out there singing. What? It's Friday night. night, 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 night. It's Friday night. You know what time it is. Oh my goodness. We got a great show for you tonight. The incredible Ramsey Lewis is on the show. Uh, official jazz master. We're going to be talking to Ramsey. Uh, I'm going to debut a brand new song from Kim and a whole lot more. What? It's Friday night. It's Friday night. I don't know what dance this is, but I'm dancing in my chair. It's, it's Friday, Friday night. Night, 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 night. It's Friday night. You guys are cracking me up already. What? All right. Oh, my goodness. Well, um, welcome. Welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. I'm saying everything double. Welcome, welcome, cheers, cheers. It is Friday night, uh, August 21st, in the year 2020, and here we are, <laughs> yet again. Uh, hey, what am I drinking? I'm, uh, you know what? I still have some of this uh, dessert wine left, so I'm drinking a little sweet wine tonight just because I feel like it. But whatever you're drinking, you enjoy. I'm gonna have a sip. That was a loud pee. I apologize. I'm going to have a sip. Mm. Well, damn, that's good. Okay. Uh, like I said, uh, Ramsey Lewis is here. Uh, I'm going to debut a brand new song off the new Chem album that's coming out next week. Uh, I'm sure you guys know about that. Uh, let's see. What else am I going to do? Oh, well, we have a few things planned for you. So... Uh, right now, I think I should just get into the music. Uh, earlier today, I was asking hang club members, I was like, what, what do I play tonight? Uh, you know, we've done this, now this is week 15 of the, uh, you know, the new show. And I was like, wow, I've, I've played a lot of music so far. So I said, what, what, what is left to play? So they suggested I play the last two songs off my very first record, the Long Night Out record. So, you know, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start off with the title cut. This is the remake though, from the Another Long Night Out. This features uh, the amazing Candy Dulfer. Uh, hey Candy, if you're watching in Amsterdam. Although it's like two in the morning there, so you're probably not, unless you're up, I don't know. Anyway, hi, <laughs> let me set this down. So this is Long Night out. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, it's got a It's it's got a vibe.
Long Night Out, The Amazing Candy Dulfer. Oh, that was fun. Thanks for that uh, suggestion, club members. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's time to check in with Ramsey Lewis. Over 80 albums, multiple Grammy Awards, uh, National Endowment of the Arts Jazz Master, one of only 160 people ever in the world, Ramsey Lewis. Welcome to the show, Ramsey. It's good to see you. You're looking good. Well, man, I likewise, you are looking fantastic. And, uh, you know, we've been hanging out or been knowing each other since the early 90s, I would say. Can you I believe know, that? I know. And you're getting younger. I'm oh. looking at you. You know, I'm looking at your face and you, you look like maybe five years older than then. Uh-huh. Sure. It's it's the music. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Well, man, I, I just want to uh, say thank you for being here. Uh, I know you are officially retired from the road, but uh, I know you still have a lot left in you. And, uh, you know, with, with so many honors, including, uh, you know, even carrying the Olympic torch, what's left on your to-do list? <laughs> <laughs> my to-do list now is just to relax, have fun, and do my monthly show. I love that. Well, speaking of, uh, I would love to plug this show, uh, Saturday Salon, uh, Ramsey Lewis, live in your, is it in your living room? Yeah. Do you know the story how it started? No, please. Listen, man. Yeah. Here I am in the living room, practicing the piano. Yeah. Then I, I thought of a song I used to play a long time ago with L.D. Young and Red Holt. Now, you know how long that was. Okay. That was before you were born. All right. <laughs> and so I'm, the name of the song is The Wind, okay. and it was on a Chet Baker album with strings. Okay. So I'm trying to figure it out, and it started coming. It started coming to finally, I got it. I played it all the way through, but I was in, I was in another space then. And my wife, I, little did I know, she was standing there with her phone, and yeah. she had taped the last version. And she said, oh, that was nice startled me because i didn't know she was standing there. <laughs> you're like that <laughs> <laughs> right exactly that's exactly yeah. what i did yeah and uh, and she said how beautiful it was and blah 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 yeah so she sent that tape only because she thought it was a beautiful song mm -hmm. to my manager brett Steele. yeah and uh he thought it was a, a a beautiful song and he so he went the whole story i said yeah i i sit in my living room and i practice and i play and he, you know how managers are. They're always going to figure out a way. Scheming. To do, right. <laughs> <laughs> and so long story short, that's what I do. I, I practice for three weeks. And then the fourth Saturday of every month mm -hmm. at 1 p.m. Chicago time, I do this thing. And it is so gratifying to have an audience and I don't have to go to O'Hare. You know what I mean? That's amazing. It is. Well, I mean, you know, we've all obviously uh, gravitated towards online streaming shows. And that's so cool you're doing this. I know uh, your next one is the 29th, right? August 29th, right. 1 yes. p.m. Chicago time. And uh, it's I, I see it's benefiting the Jazz Foundation of America. Oh, well. yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we send most of the money to them. Oh, These wonderful. are jazz musicians that are not having it as, as good as I had it or as good as I'm having it, right. and they need help. So there's this organization that makes sure the right people get the money. That's and so beautiful. beautiful thing. So I'm going to put a link in the description so uh, everybody can buy tickets. $20 for the online show. you got to got to check it out. And is, is it just you on solo piano? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I must admit, every time I've seen you just play piano, with no one else, you, you blow my mind. I'm just, okay, I'm gonna fan out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, solo piano was my thing before uh, I started playing with groups. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I started uh, studying so, uh, classical piano, that's mm -hmm. solo. Yeah. Uh, and then I was playing for our church choir, and it was just the piano and the choir. Right. So it wasn't until uh, I was 15, 16 years old. And one of the other church musicians, get this, yeah. he said, Ramsey, yeah. our piano player just left to go with Sarah Vaughan. She wanted him. Now that should have been a signal, right? Sarah Vaughan wanted the piano player. Mm. And all I've been doing is classical and gospel. 
Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, sure, man. But he had a jazz group. I didn't even put the whole thing together. So I got to this. Do you have time for this story? Oh, yeah. I got I got to this. He says, show up at this um, Union Park Temple. It was a, like a field house. Yeah. Because we're playing for a dance from 7 to 10. Mm-hmm. And we'll just have some fun, Wallace Burton said. So I showed up. So he says, okay, we're going to open up with um, some B-flat blues. I don't, I don't know B-flat blues. Like, I don't know any that? blues. Wow. And, and so he said, so he said, well, so he said, okay, let's open up, let's play uh, a standard. Okay. And he named some standard. I didn't know any standards. So he said, well, he was a nice guy. So he said, go sit over there, do some homework. Back in the day, my day, is for you were born, young fellow. <laughs> you could take records into booths. And you could listen. Yeah, LPs. You could take LPs. The original the listening station. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so I took in Oscar Peterson and George Shearing and Earl Garner. I took these people into the booth. Yeah. And I listened to them play some of the songs that we were playing. Mm-hmm. And it was like another world. I'm like, oh, my God. So that's what Wallace is talking about. So I really opened my eyes and ears open to this music. And then Wallace taught me what he knew. And one thing led to another, and L.D. Young, Red Holt, and I got the trio, and, well, you know the story. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, good stuff. Ramsey Lewis. Uh, much more with Ramsey uh, a little bit later in the show, but right now, it's time to take some questions. Uh, you want to follow me over to the question cam? Okay, here it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, hang Club member Myra Scott from Durham, North Carolina, asks, how would you describe the music that you typically create? Wow, that's a good question. Uh, I would say it is, it's smooth. (laughs) But it's also, I mean, you know, it's kind of a mix of jazz, funk, and R&B. I mean, really, that's what it is. Um, And some pop thrown in there, and kind of elements from all different genres. I don't know if you can just call it one thing. You know, that's that's the radio format, or the radio format was called smooth jazz, and that sort of envelops it, but doesn't really say what it all is. So uh, I don't know. It's just music with piano. <laughs> I don't know if that answered your question. <laughs> Pamela from Spanaway, Washington, wants to know how is the band doing, and will I do any hangs with the band? Well. Um, I mean, everybody's doing good, so, uh, you know, uh, I, I talk to the guys all the time, and uh, so, what, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Uh, but, uh, let's see, I've had Patches on, and Chris Miscal. There's a chance he might come over next week. Oh, we'll see what happens. The problem is, uh, most of the guys don't live where I live, so they're kind of spread out, so it's kind of hard to get together with a group. Uh, and they don't feel like driving. <laughs> so maybe we'll see. All right, one more question. Uh, let's see. Shauna from Easton, Maryland asks, who designed the space from which you broadcast? Not the tech so much as the colors, the furniture, etc. It has an amazing feel. Well, it's kind of a combination. Uh, Michelle and I and a su- studio designer uh, by the name of Carp. And then I looked at uh, other studios and we uh, just kind of threw out ideas and kind of all, you know, put it together. So it was definitely a collaboration. There you go. One last question here. Debbie Mars from Orange County, specifically Irvine, asks, what are a few of your favorite venues? Uh, Do you prefer intimate or large festivals? I got to be honest with you. I kind of like everything for different reasons. Intimate venues are fun because you get to, you know, interact more, you get to talk with people. But the large venue, there's nothing like an insane crowd going bananas. So, you know, it just depends. I like theaters too, because theaters are the most controlled environment. Uh, Typically the best sound uh, and the best lighting and everything. So kind of everything has its own reason for uh, liking it. So there you go. I think I should play another song. Here's the last song from the Long Night Out record. Remember I said? It's called Changing Tides, and this features 
the amazing Jonathan Butler. Here it is. Mmm, yeah. Jonathan Butler there, Changing Tides. Yeah, both those songs were songs I wrote a long time ago for my first record, The Long Night Out CD. Uh, but those were the remakes from Another Long Night Out. Somebody asked me, uh, are you going to do a remake of that album on its 40th anniversary? So I started thinking about it. Specifically, what should it be called? And it should probably be called Yet... Another long night out. Ah. Oh, but you know what? It's time for birthday shout outs. That's right. There are a ton this week in jazz and R&B. On Monday, Mesa and Everett Harp celebrated birthdays. Happy birthday, you guys. Uh, on Tuesday, David Benoit. What up, David? 
Wednesday, we got Nick Colleon. What up, Nick? And uh, bass player extraordinaire. Been playing with me, Rashawn Odell. What's up, Rashawn? Uh, let's see. On, th- oh, yesterday, a ton of people. Isaac Hayes. Three incredible trombone players. I'm talking Jimmy Pankow from Chicago. Frank Rosalino going way back. And Jack Teagarden going way, way back. <laughs> also, what up, Craig Bauer? Yesterday. Uh, let's see. Today, celebrating birthdays, Art Farmer and Count Basie. Oh, we're going way back today. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, John Lee Hooker had a birthday. Uh, well, you know. You know what I'm saying? And tomorrow, I, I, wait a minute, Sunday, I gotta say, happy 34th wedding anniversary to Wade and Stella Bird. Hang club members. What's up, you guys? <laughs> uh, hey, and as promised, I have a little um, sneak preview of a brand new song coming up on the new Chem album coming out next week. You wanna hear it? As it turns out, we ended up collaborating on a song. And uh, here's a little sneak preview of this track called Lonely. Ooh, I am loving this record. Wait till you hear the whole thing. Yeah, what can you say? It's a Kim record. I was very honored uh, to get that call from him and uh, it was really cool to play on this track from uh, the moment I heard it I knew what I was gonna play, and uh, it, he just let me do my thing on it, which um, uh, very thankful for that. And he just said, "Man, do your thing." So uh, really, really cool. So uh, beautiful song, beautiful record. Definitely pre-order it, um, or uh, you know, pre-save. You can hit the pre-save button now on like Apple Music and Spotify and Title and all these things. <sighs> there it is. More with Ramsey Lewis right now. What's crazy is I didn't realize you had 20 albums released before the in crowd. Yes. I mean, yeah. you know, if people like thinking today, like thinking that's that was kind of the beginning. No, you were 20 no, no, deep. No, no. no. That's crazy. Well, well, what happened? Yeah. This DJ named uh, Daddy O'Daly, yeah. he, he heard us play at this club i mean we didn't even get billing or advertising uh-huh. we were just this local group yeah playing at this club and people are eating and drinking and that they're they're the house band and so daddy o'daly came in and he says you guys should make a record well we heard that before yeah sure yeah, like, yeah but yeah. he's you know so we said oh yeah we, we really would like to i'll be darned if a couple of weeks later he didn't come back and said show up at this address on this day and Leonard and Phil Chess had a uh, uh, stationery shop. Uh-huh. Uh, Leonard and Phil Chess, that's a name that we'll get into in a minute. You know, I know you know who yeah. those people are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they had this stationery shop, and in the back they had a piano. So Daddy O and, and the owners, Leonard and Phil, said, show them, show them what you can do. So. Yeah. LD set up the bass and, and, and Red set up, so we played. So Phil, he, he wasn't quite sure. He said, sounds pretty good. So he called one of the stock boys in, I'll never forget. Mm-hmm. His name was Sonny. He said, Sonny, come in here and listen to this music. Sonny came in, yeah. and I think this is what sold it. Sonny came in, we played, and Sonny says, I think they're pretty good. He says, you do? And that was it. That was At it. That point, Phil, yeah, Phil said, okay, we're going to sign you. And and they signed us, and you're right. We recorded at least 12, 13 albums, maybe 20 albums. I forgot what it was. We got to, we got to this one album. Yeah. And, and we had um, started putting what we call fun songs on the album. Fun songs. Uh, okay. Yeah, like um, not necessarily straight ahead jazz, sure, yeah. but jazz that you could kind of shake your butt to. Right. Yeah, 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 move yeah. your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but we couldn't find one uh, for this album. Hmm. And um, we were sitting in this coffee shop, and I'll never forget her name, Nettie Gray came over and said, so what are you guys doing? So we said, we're trying to find a song that people like and that maybe they can dance to or 
whatever. Yeah. And they said, she said, well, have you heard Dobie Gray's The End Crowd? I had not heard it, but LD and Red had heard it. Okay. She says, not to worry, it's on the jukebox. Wow. Now, this is before your time. They had this is, they had jukeboxes in coffee shops. Hello. Oh, ever, wow. <laughs> so she went over to the jukebox and and she played Dobie Gray's I'm In With The In Crowd. Huh. And I said, yeah. I mean, I was not nonchalant, but that, I figured, yeah, that'll fit the slot on the album like, sure. that we're trying to fill, right? <laughs> wow. And so we put it on the album. They yeah. put the album out. Yeah. And a um, few weeks after the album was out, yeah. we got a call from uh, Chess Producing, and they said, we think you boys have a hit. Now, you know, a jazz artist back in those days, what? you know what, you mean a hit upside your head or a, <laughs> a hit with a baseball bat? Right. What do you mean we got a hit? That, that's rock and roll and pop. Sure, you, know, yeah. that, you got a hit? So I said, yeah, you know that song, The In Crowd? Yeah. Yeah. Well, people are coming in buying the album. It was a 12-inch album, 12-inch LPs in those days. And they're buying it for that one song. Whoa. And that, that was a turning point, Brian. Um, from then on, uh, we could do no wrong. And it was nice. fun. And then you start the world tours going all over the place. Uh, when did Maurice White join the band on drums? Yeah, it was it? Um, it was let's see, that was sort of right was, after that, right? Was it? Yeah, a little bit after that. That yeah. was 1965. Yeah, with the In Crowd, and so LD Young and Red Holt left the group. I think two or three years later mm. to form their own group called Young Holt Unlimited, mm -hmm. and so that's when um, Cleveland Eaton and um, Maurice White yeah. came in. Yeah. And Maurice was a quiet. Did you ever meet Maurice White? Man, I actually worked with Maurice quite a bit. Uh, he helped produce one of my albums, actually. So, he, yeah, well, he actually gave know, me he, a lot of good Ramsey stories. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he's Maurice White. He was a quiet kind of guy. Yeah. yeah. You know, he knew a lot of music. He knew, and he knew produ production up and down, in and out. He mm -hmm. producing, and he played a lot of drums, but. But off to the side, when you started talking to him, it was almost all, not a whisper, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly, you know, exactly, yeah. And we so would, we'd go out to dinner, and I'd be like trying to have move the conversation along. Actually, he was right, very quiet. right, right. Yeah. So after a while, Marie said, "Ramsey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna form my own group." Right. So he said this for two or three, four months. I said, "Okay, yeah, you let me know." So, yeah. I don't know, it must have been a year later, yeah. he said, he left. But before the year, about three or four months before the year, he says, I'm going to leave in about three months. You know, I'm going to move to the West Coast and I'm going to form my group. So, mm -hmm. I said, so are you going to have bass, drums, and, and piano, or quartet, or quintet? He said, Keep no. Going. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to dance. We're gonna play R and B. We're gonna play pop. We're gonna we're gonna play jazz. We're gonna do everything. And he, said, and he says we're gonna have horns and we're gonna have this and that. So you know what I told him? Yeah. I said, Reese, take a cup, take a blasphemy, and lay down. You'll get over it. Ah! I, I <laughs> Still more with Ramsey in a little bit. Could you believe that? <laughs> hey. What's up, man? Come on, man. All right, all right. We outside. Let's go. Okay, cool. I'm coming down. All right. What?
crazy, man. I know, I know. Dragging us up in this club, man. I'm coming with it. Well, you want to do it again tomorrow? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that, that always gets me right there, uh, through the years. How you doing? We cool? <laughs> uh, hey, cheers to you guys. Um, thanks, uh, seriously, um, every week for watching. We're not done yet. Just saying thanks. That song, you know. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, let's, let's have a cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Uh, mm mm And hey, uh, the song before this, I got I got to give it up to Chance and uh, Marquell uh, for singing on that one, "The Call." Uh, you, have you seen the cartoon? If you haven't seen the car cartoon, it's on YouTube, of course. <laughs> Check it out. It's hilarious. Yeah. Here's the uh, the last bit with Ramsey Lewis. I was playing um, Washington again in a club, yeah. and Maurice called me. Yeah, Earth, Wind, and Fire just sold out Madison Square Garden. Excuse me, mm -hmm. and he called me. 
And he says, so how are you doing? I said, I'm doing good. He says, we got this song for you, Sun Goddess. And Maurice's, that was Maurice's baby, and that was his gift to me. Wow. Well, I mean, it, it in essence sounds like an Earth, Wind & Fire record with you playing on it. I mean, it's, exactly. it's, it's brilliant. Well, fast forward a little bit. Uh, you form Urban Nights. Oh. Speaking of, uh, you know, those guys, I mean... I, Whose idea was, was this your idea that you came up with uh, to form a group? Well, and my son, Frane Lewis, uh-huh. uh, he had been working as a producer, arranger. He says, Dad, you know, you should do something with horns or um, a bigger group and this, that, and the other. But at that time, I didn't want to call it Ramsey Lewis. Uh-huh. And so we had to come up with a name. And I'm trying to search my mind now that who actually came up the name Urban Nights, but one of us came up with the name Urban Nights yeah, yeah. to um, show that it was a different direction than right. the usual Ramsey Lewis with more horns, more rhythm, more guitar, more this, more that. But and when that, it, those are fun to do because you know we did several of those albums. I know, and uh, your latest one is Seven, came out just last year, even. There you go. I mean, I remember when the first one came out, uh, mid '90s. Was it '95, something like that? Yeah, yeah. And that just exploded onto the scene. I mean, we was, everybody was so excited. I had just got my start right then, so I was uh, knee deep <laughs> into uh, the the genre and getting all excited about it. And I I remember uh, going by the radio station uh, almost every day, actually WNUA, where you were the morning show host. Yeah. And uh, you remember me coming by like daily. <laughs> Yeah, bugging right. you guys. <laughs> you you were a young fellow, and you look like you haven't gotten much older right uh, now. Sure, <laughs> but I I just love going over there and uh, talking to everybody, and um, uh, those those were the the heydays of you know the the smooth jazz radio format, and uh, right. that was that was so cool. Well, uh, you know I I uh, definitely want to talk uh, you know end on the Saturday Salon, make sure people know about this every month and your next performance uh is next saturday august yeah, it's a, 29th it's always the last saturday of every month there it is at 1 p.m central time Wait, 1 p.m central time. there you go i'm gonna post again i'm gonna post a link in the description you can go get your tickets uh you can pre-buy the tickets at only 20 dollars, and you get front row seat to see ramsey in his living room sitting at the yeah. piano before I let you go, I have uh, a few last quick questions, okay? Okay. Cubs or White Sox? Uh, Cubs. <laughs> and only the Cubs because my father first introduced me to the Cubs, and that was his team. Okay. And Okay. Okay. Do you have a favorite wine? I know you like wine. Ooh. ooh I know it's a tough ooh. one. Cabernet Sauvignon. There you go. Yeah, we love a great cab. I'm with you. I'm with you. Do you have a favorite album to listen to for inspiration that you go back to from time to time? Like on Sunday, I'll put on gospel music. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I want some straight ahead jazz. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I want jazz that is not straight ahead. So I have these different categories. Yeah, Yeah. I might. So depending on how I feel that day, that's what I punch. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, I, I must admit, I, I, I love the sound of your piano. It is, it's, it has a raw feeling to it, and it just sounds like you're there in a room with you uh, on all your recordings. Um, so it's definitely a unique sound unto you, I think. Thank and, you. Uh, and it's uh, definitely, you know, when Ramsey Lewis is on the radio. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're very kind. So thank, thank you, you very much, Ramsey. I uh, appreciate Ryan, you being on the hang. seeing you and talking to you. Absolutely. Appreciate you, man. Let's stay in touch. Will do. Okay. Ramsey Lewis. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what, what an inspiration. What a legend. Um, 80 albums. Can you believe that? I'm just, uh, just at 20. That's... It's mind blowing. It's it's amazing. So, uh, cheers to Ramsey. Um, here's uh, to many more to come. I know you're not touring anymore, but.
But we're definitely going to tune in next Saturday to see your show, Saturday Salon. Uh, very, very excited about that. So um, I don't know if there's a chat room, but if there is, I'll be in there. <laughs> uh, hey, I'll take a couple more questions uh, before I get to uh, another song. Oh, yeah. By the way, hey, did I mention? I think I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited because uh, the latest single from the 20 album is currently number one on the Smooth Jazz radio charts. Yeah. Everett Harp texted me this morning. He's like, hey, Brian, we, we got a number one song. I'm like, I know. Thanks. So, you know, it's cool that after all these years, you know, we still get excited about these things. And... Um, you know, cool that we, you know, it, it's easy to get kind of jaded in the music industry, but you know what? Uh, if you love what you do and you have so many amazing fans like you guys watching uh, every week, it's just, you, you can't help but to kind of feel young and, and, and get invigorated and excited about things. So, um, okay, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> couple last questions and then I'll get to this song. Uh, let's see. Oh, Lynn Harris from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania asks, speaking of inspiration, how do you get your inspiration for songs? Uh, you've mentioned that you see them as a movie in your head. Well, sometimes. Uh, I kind of get inspiration different ways. Uh, sometimes life happens and it gives you ideas. Sometimes I'll be sitting in the studio scrolling through new sounds and a particular sound will inspire a whole song uh, other times like the dreams album i was dreaming and i would wake up remembering songs um, so for me it's kind of all over the place so everybody kind of has their own way of thinking um, every songwriter that i've talked to completely different so i don't know where it comes from just it just comes <laughs> uh, Aaron and David Hall in Lula Georgia ask how much time do you spend in your office and how much in the studio well I would say it's about half and half uh, you got to hang on the office get work done get you know get the business handled that's where I also do uh, all the video editing and my photoshopping and uh, all the graphics I work on my website, so I do all that stuff. It's kind of a almost a one one man show over here. Of course, I have uh, helpers when I need. Uh, you know, uh, on the management side, they they you know facilitate and make so many other things happen that I could never do. So thank you guys. Uh, but uh, you know, there it is. How about another song? I think so. Let me set this down. This is Falcor, by the way. Their dessert. Mm. So speaking of this, that's right, I'm doing it. Uh, yeah. Keep moving. Ha <laughs> ha. Featuring Everett Harp. Uh, and the late Kahari Parker on drums. And the whole band. Thank you. 
Paul Jackson Jr. on rhythm guitar. That's funky. Alex Al on the bass. Lenny Castro on key, on uh, percussion. All right, here we go. Well, there it was. Keep moving. Uh, that's that's what the doctor says. So uh, you know, that's what we got to do. <laughs> Thanks again to Everett Harp for uh, blazing on that song. Thank you, Everett. Uh, you're amazing. So, uh, dude, right? Oh, it, it. Cheers. And uh, yeah, Everett's been golfing a lot. I just put it out there. I said, Everett, what are you doing? He's like, man, well, I'm golfing. I'm like, well, that sounds sounds pretty good. <laughs> I said, I'm riding my bike. He said, well, that's pretty good too. So uh, here we go. Cheers, Everett. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I got to give away some gear. Check this out. Oh, oh, I got it. Wow. Four terabyte hard drive called the Mercury Elite Pro by OWC. Our friends at OWC. Uh, amazing company uh, based out of Chicago, actually. And uh, they are making some amazing uh, products. Uh, everything I've gotten from them is just, uh, it's just rock solid. This thing is like a tank. Jeez. Anyway, I'm giving one of these away right now. So if you're signed up for the hang email list, you're you're eligible. So uh, Ben just uh, emailed me the winner for tonight. So let me check my email. It's right here. You're gonna get one of these. Okay, Ricardo Garcia. Ricardo Garcia. You got a new hard drive, congrats. Ben's gonna email you over the weekend with all the details. Well, there you go. All right. What a night. Ah. Oh. Guess what? There's still time for this. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh! You know it. Cheers, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks to Ramsey Lewis. Oh. Thank you, Ramsey. Sang it. It's Friday night. <laughs> what? It's Friday night. You know what time it is. It's Friday night. Uh-huh. Mm. Well, next week, I told you earlier, Chris Miscal is coming in the studio, but this time he's bringing his whole drum set. Look out. It's going to be bananas in here. Oh, yeah. It's Friday night. Chris going to be blazing up. <laughs> it's Friday night. He's bringing the red sparkle kit. What? Yeah. Well, there it was. <laughs> Cheers, you guys. Thanks for hanging out once again. Episode 15. Can you believe it? Well, hey, we got a lot more in us. We'll see you in the chat. Later. <laughs> All right. What's going on, you guys? Let's check out the chat. What's what's happening over there? Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah, see you guys next week. Um, LaRonda, Susie, oh, hey. Michelle Harris Perry, Robin Waldron, what's going on? Uh, Kenneth Spencer, thank you. Uh, Eddie Foster, what's up, man? Cheers, I, I appreciate that. Hi, Linda. Aw. Thanks, Isabel. Uh, it's, it's great hanging out with you guys. Seriously. Yes, I just, uh, finished this Falcor. <laughs> uh, la 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 la. Jesslyn emailed Jesse and Kyle. <laughs> Hey, Marcus Anderson shares a Prince Road story next week. Uh, yeah. It's hilarious. Okay. He says he has multiple. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, thanks, Donna. Uh, yeah. Uh, La, La Setta, or La Ketta, La Chetta. And her boo, Raymond. What up, you guys? Hi, Rhonda. Uh, Tyle Ross. Uh, da, 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 I don't know. She, she, you said I should do a iCal thingy. What does that mean? Uh, uh, oh, well, okay. I'll think about that. I'll, I'll figure that out. Cecil Ramirez in the house. What's up, Colby? His grandson. Hello, Colby. Uh, oh, what else is going on? Mmm. Yes. Thank you, Daryl. Uh, it's going to be fun next week. I'm putting uh, together arrangements of songs uh, in mixes without the drums and without the piano. So me and Chris can literally jam together. We're just sitting his, his drums right up there. It's going to be crazy. I might... Oh, there he is right there. I might let him loose and just play a drum solo. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, Clay, congrats to you and Melissa. Congratulations on the wedding. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Carol Allen. How you doing? Mm. Uh, Kim, I do some Zoom sessions with fans. Yes, I do. It's part of the hang club. Check it out. A lot of, lot of benefits for joining the hang club. Uh, specifically, uh, I do shows on Monday nights and Wednesday nights. Uh, you know, we have fun. All right, you guys, I'm going to take off. Uh, cheers. We'll see you next time. Later. <laughs>